Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Sephora haul to share with you guys. I had actually already filmed this like a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't like the way it came out. Yeah, this is like way overdue and I really needed to get this filmed and uploaded. I guess I'm going to start off with just to get this out of the way because it's like the least interesting thing and probably you guys are not even interested in seeing this but I did pick up this um, BB repair blow dry for damaged and dry hair I did pick this up before I got my hair cut um, because my hair was getting very like dry and just very um, damaged from all the heat and everything that I was doing it to it so I picked it up for that reason also because I had gotten a sample of it in my ipsy bag and I really did like it it um, like you put it on your hair and it leaves it really soft and like it's it, you know it takes away all the tangles from your hair and all that so I really did like it and I picked up the full size next I picked up two contour palettes um I picked up the Too Faced and it's kind of dirty because I have been using it actually I used it today on my face um but this is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour and I did pick this up the day that it was released um at Sephora so I thought it was so cute. Um, these are the colors that it comes with. It does come with a... This is called a contour bookie is what they called it. But it's just basically a little brush um, that is kind of dense. And it is a little bit more like narrow. I always forget to use this. But it is very soft and it's like a good... It seems like it's a good brush. I've used it like maybe once or twice and it did work pretty well to kind of like chisel out your cheeks and then like to kind of put the bronzer all over so it does work pretty well yeah, so it comes with four shades the one here at the top is called light cocoa and then the next the one next to it is medium cocoa it's a little bit more like of a cool tone color and then um down here at the bottom you have dark cocoa and then you have pop of light and this color um well, all of the colors are matte except for Pop of Light. That one, it does have like kind of, I, I don't I don't know, I, I guess I would call it glitter because it is kind of glittery, but it's very micro fine glitter. So if you guys are not into like having glitter on your face, it is a little bit glittery. Um, I did wear it on my face today. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I did put it like in this area and on my, like down the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on right here I uh, didn't go crazy with it just put a little bit because yeah it is kind of glittery um, but I do notice that the glitter kind of falls off like it doesn't all like stay on there there's a little bit of shimmer but not like super glittery uh, like I used medium cocoa which is like the cooler toned um, bronzer color in here I did use that just for my cheekbones and then I used it like down here um, to kind of chisel out my jawline and then I used um, dark cocoa because it's a little bit more of a warm tone like orangey type of color I used that like to kind of bronze so I used it like on my forehead on the sides right here and then I ran it down a little bit down here to kind of blend out the contour shape so that's what I used today I love this next one that I picked up is a Kat Von D shade light contour palette and this one actually I have been neglecting because I've been using this one so ever since I got that one I kind of forgot about this one which is bad because I think I only use I've only used it once and that's really bad because this thing is not by any means cheap it was I think $45 and I believe this one was 40 I don't remember I'll be listing everything down below and but this one actually has three different shades of like highlighting and then three different shades for bronzing the reason why I kind of forget to use this and I don't really grab for it is because the colors in here are deeper and darker colors um I, it's not like it's not to say though that lighter skin tone people cannot use it but you have to be very careful um, or you might end up liking it because if you like a like a more defined a more like a darker contour or bronze then you probably will like this and then along with Kat Von D I also picked up this Lucket featherweight primer and it's just um, I was actually 
deciding between this one and the one from Too Faced because they have one for sensitive skin and I really was thinking to grab for that one but the reason why I ended up picking this one instead was because this one had a lot more like I was going to say health benefits but like it had more benefits for your skin like it has all these vitamins and like things in it I forgot exactly what it is and it said that it's hydrating water-based weightless fragrance free and oil free I picked up the professional by benefit uh, because everybody you know is always raving about this thing and I've never tried it I've never looked out in getting this like in an empty bag or as a sample size anywhere so I decided to just pick up the the one that they sell I think it's like 10 or 15 dollars um, and I've tried it once it was okay I wasn't like impressed by it and it did end up leaving me kind of oily at the end of the day so um, I don't know that I really like this so far just from that first time that I tried it but I'll keep trying it and then I also picked up the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil or Veil Mineral Primer and this is also the sample size this one was $18 compared to I believe the larger size is like $45 so it's kind of pricey for a primer um, but it comes in like a little it's like a glass container it's, it's like very thin very lightweight consistency it does leave a little bit of a white cast um, but not horrible like the NYX primer that I had tried out before from benefit I also picked up the puff off instant eye gel to help smooth the look of puffies and so I had heard a lot of good things about this and you know the packaging of course is like super cute because it has a little iron <clears throat> uh, applicator on there and it's just really cute uh I don't know I don't know you guys like I've like I'm wearing it today and I can see a little bit of puffiness still in my eyes so I don't know if I really think that this is that great I don't I don't know I also got this sample size of the roller lash um, mascara and I am wearing it today on my lower lashes it is a really good mascara but honestly, you guys, like, I feel that the Maybelline Lash Sensational, I know that that one works just as well as this one, and it's obviously, like, a lot cheaper because it's, like, drugstore. So, although I do like this mascara, it's really good. It doesn't flake, um, you know, it gives you nice volume, and it's dark, and it just works really well. But I feel that the other Maybelline one works just as well, that I don't need to pick up this one in the full size version. I also picked up this lipstick from Too Faced which is the pink chocolate well it's in pink chocolate but these are the La Creme um, lip creams and this is the packaging which is like super adorable I love the packaging of Too Faced um, so it came in that but this is pretty much the color of it I had picked this up a few months back this one's like been sitting around forever um, because I picked it up for the Marsala color of the year because it's like a like a brownish wine color. Moving on, another kind of boring thing that you guys might need, not be interested in. So I'll just quickly show it to you guys. I did pick up this um, perfume. It is the Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir. So this is the Eau de Parfum Couture. I did get it in a small size because I never can finish my perfumes. And I think it's a waste to buy the full size version. Like the bigger size is that I just will not go through it. Because I have like... Not not a lot of perfumes, but I have, you know, like five or six, so I am not going to go through the whole, like if I buy a big one, I won't go through it. So this is just the one ounce, and it smells, ugh, I love this perfume, it smells really good. And then I picked up three things from like the 100 point perks that Sephora has. I picked up the Marc Jacobs, uh, this is like a little lip cream in the color Kiss Kiss Bang Bang number 216. It's really, really tiny, really cute. And actually, it's quite similar to the, um, sort of similar to the one that I picked up from Too Faced. Although the Too Faced one, as you can see there, it's a little bit more on, like, the brown side. And this one's a little bit more on the pink side. I also picked up the Beauty Blender Solid. I already have one of these, um, but I figured if it was 100 points, I could just pick up another one. So when I finished the other one, I could just have a backup of it. I also picked up the Clinique Super Primer Universal Face Primer. I uh, haven't actually tried this because I've been forgetting that I have it and I've been using the other primers and sometimes I don't even wear a primer. I'm not like a primer girl. I forget to wear it. I also picked up like these samples. Balenciaga perfume was one that I really wanted. I was debating between this one and the one that I picked up from Guerlain. 
uh, Guerlain, Guerlain, I don't know how to say it, but yeah. Um, I love this one as well, but I, I think I'm okay. I, I love the other one better. I don't have anything that really smells like that one. And then I got this Basha Luminizing Black, Ma Black Mask, and then the Tarte Clean State, Clean Slate Timeless Primer, which I haven't tried that either. And that's pretty much all for the uh, sample sizes and thing free things that I got. Oh, and then also I picked up this Sephora Pearl Mask because that is my name. If you guys obviously don't know because I've never mentioned my name. But yeah, my name is Pearl. So um, that came... I mean, I don't know. I had to pick it up because it had my name in it. So this is the one of their masks. And yeah. this one, like I was saying, this one is for brightening and priming. And it just comes with one mask. And, you know, that's what it looks like. I haven't used it because I wanted to show it to you guys before I used it. But I am excited to try this out because I've heard that these are really, really good masks. They are like $6, which in my opinion is kind of pricey because I could buy a bottle... Um, you know of a mask for that price and use it like I don't know 20 times and this is just like a one-time deal the last two things um, that I picked up are from the bomb I did pick these up from Hot look a while back I ended up picking up the Mary luminizer which everybody you know has to have in their makeup collection if you're a makeup junkie so I picked this one up and um, I do like it I you know I use it from time to time and I also picked up the meat matte eyeshadow palette and this is a smaller version they have another one that's like bigger um I don't know I I don't know the difference between them or like you know but this one is the little one I think I got this one for $17 and the um I got this one for $10 so it just comes with these nine shades I tried some of them but I really need to try like the color ones and that's really why I picked this one up instead of the bigger one because this one had more like color to it. I think that's actually all you guys that I wanted to show you from Sephora that I've been picking up. I'm so glad that I finally filmed this video and I can uh, upload it soon and show you guys what I've been picking up. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed what I, I did pick up. Um, if there's anything in particular maybe you would like for me to review, I would be happy to do that. I know I'm not the best at doing that. I know you guys have been like Kaylee Phillips. I'm so sorry. I know that you've been it's been a while since you requested um, like a review on the Rimmel foundation and I've always have it in my back of my head that I want to do it and I still want to do it for you for you because I don't want to seem like I just, you know, blew you off or forgot about it or I'm not going to do it. It's just, I don't know. Uh, no excuses, but you know... I just haven't done it so I'm really sorry I'm hoping that I'm gonna calm down with my shopping so I won't have so many more hauls to do so that'll give me time to actually do more reviews or like other type of videos that you guys may want to see um, tutorials are one thing that I'm a little bit uh, afraid of to do to be honest with you guys like I don't consider like I'm not a makeup artist or anything and I've I've actually learned from people on YouTube on how to do my makeup better and all that so uh, I don't know I feel a little bit weird to do makeup tutorials but if you guys really want to see that or anything else let me know and I will do my best to do them I'm not gonna promise you that I would actually film them like if I, I'm kind of a little bit of a perfectionist so with my videos if I don't like the quality or if I don't like um, something about the video then I, I just won't post it you know like I'll have to refilm it and that's kind of what happened with this video I had to refilm it again but I, I'll try my best you guys if you have any requests or anything I will try my best I just cannot promise you for sure that I'll do it um, I'm just being honest. I hope you guys don't hate me for that. But anyways, um, I hope that you ha guys have a great day or night or weekend. where Whenever you watch this video, I hope that you guys are enjoying your day or your night. And I will see you guys next time.